Hi there, welcome to another episode of Amputee Outdoors. I'm your host, Glenn. And today we're gonna to be looking at the One Wind Rain Fly and the way I've set it up, which is obviously different than the way it comes uh, out of the package. So let's get started. The line that came with the One Wind Rain Fly that goes from the rain fly to the tree wasn't long enough to get around the trees I got around here and then you know tie it off properly so I had to create my own ridge line. You'll notice that carabiner there that is actually from the door uh, flap tie out and what I did I used those carabiners for my prussic knot going on my ridge line. I'll show you what I did for the doors in a little bit later. In the middle they've got these two little loops I tied it together with a piece of string carabiner there and that holds up the middle of the rain fly to keep it from kind of sagging when it starts getting wet or the winds blowing it and on the other end I've got the classic prussic knot loop and then tied off with a slippery half hitch there to keep it taut One nice thing with the One Wind Rain Fly is it comes with these side tie outs, which enables you to create a much wider expanse within the rain fly itself, giving it a lot of room. To do this, I use some shock cord and attached it to the straps on the side of the rain fly and then looped it around my hiking poles. And this successfully pulls out the rain fly. And as you'll see in a later photograph, it gives you a lot of room on the inside. It's very easy to set up. Very easy to do, uh, modify the rain fly yourself like this. For the tie outs, I'm experimenting with using bungee cords. I know, not ultralight, but I kind of like the way bungee cords work because they keep the tension steady. If it's windy, it's blowing. The tension stays the same. It also has got a little, lot of give. Now I did keep the lines attached to the one wind. The one wind rain fly has shock cords attached to the rain fly itself. And I just looped my bungee cords to that and then down to the stakes on the ground. And here you can see kind of a full picture of how that looks. Those carabiners you saw earlier on the ridge line would normally be here where that little black hook is. I thought they were kind of inconvenient to use there, and especially if I'm working with like gloves or something. These hooks that I've got from another old kit work really well for this job, and so that's what I've replaced them with. One of the things with a normal rain fly is that it's only really in the middle where you've got a lot of room. Everything else is, you know, the A-frame kind of thing and your head and shoulders are pushing against the cloth, fabric, whatever, all the time. With the one wind, using those side pullouts, you have got a lot of room. I mean, just look at that. My hammock is there in the middle, but I've got room where I can sit next to the hammock. I can have my little stove going. I can be cooking up my food. I can put a camp chair there. I've got a ton of room. Uh, so if you're looking for a rain fly that is a little more roomy and it's got a lot of variety in the way it can be set up, One Wind has really got it figured out here with their rain fly. Not recommending them because they sent me one. I got one of these for Christmas, but I'm recommending it anyway. There's a lot of other videos about the One Wind rain fly out there. And a lot of people set it up in a lot of different ways. This is just the way I've set it up. And I'm guessing there's a few other ways I could set this thing up. It's very, very high quality. The stitching is really good. The material is really good. Those side pullouts are reinforced. The shock cord isn't some cheap shock cord. It's pretty sturdy. And overall, this is probably one of the best rain flies you can get uh, on the market these days. The price isn't too unreasonable either. I think my wife paid uh, $85 for this for a, as a Christmas present. And I'm really impressed with it. I've tested it out a couple of times in the backyard before I go out camping in the snow later this winter. And it has held up really well in some rainy conditions and some windy conditions.
Well, thanks for joining me and checking out the One Wind Rainfly with me. Um, I'm sure some of you have probably looked at this. You've got One Wind uh, Rainflies yourself or something similar and said, why have you done that? Why did you do this? You should have done this. You should have done that. Try this. Try that. Put those comments down there. I'd like to hear about them. And one of the other things I'm going to do with this um, later on in the season, because it's got all these, you know, tie outs points everywhere. I'm going to see how many different ways I can set this thing up because I figure with a little bit of imagination, there's at least six different ways I could set this up. So I'm really kind of excited about exploring that and playing around with it. Um, as always, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I hope to see you out in nature, enjoying the outdoors, in a rainfly, whatever you prefer, staying warm and dry. See you out there.